Riccardo Rico is an Italian professional road bicycle racer, who is suspended from all competition until 2024. He was previously ejected from the 2008 Tour de France for doping violations and suspended. Rico returned to competition in late 2010, but in February 2011 he was fired by his team, Bacon Salil DCM, after he became seriously ill allegedly through a self-administered autologous blood transfusion. He then signed to UCI Continental Team Meridiana Cayman. On April 19, 2012 it was announced that he had been suspended for 12 years effectively ending his career. Born in Formigine, Rico joined UCI Pro Team Sonnier Duval Perdier in 2006 after two successful seasons as an amateur rider, during which he won the Sedimata Bergamasca. Prior to joining the team he tried to become a professional with Ceramica Panaria Navigare in 2005 but was not allowed because several blood tests revealed his hematocrit levels exceeded those acceptable. Sonnier Duval Sportif Director, Moro Gennetti, suggested he spend a week in the UCI laboratory in Lausanne to prove that his blood values were natural. Further exhaustive tests by the UCI confirmed that Rico's hematocrit level was naturally over 50%. This has since been questioned however when, on July 17, 2008, it was revealed that Rico had a non-negative test for EPO, the hematocrit-boosting drug, following the Tour de France Stage 4 time trial at Cholet. It has since been suggested by fellow professional rider Jérôme Pinot that Rico openly doped even as a junior rider. Rico's breakthrough came during the 2007 Tirino Adriatico, when he won two consecutive stages and the points classification. He also won a stage and finished second in Settimana Internazionale di Copi e Bartali. He then finished ninth in Amstel Gold Race and sixth in La Flèche Wallon in his first ever appearance in the Ardennes Classics. He rode the Giro d'Italia as a domestique of team leader Gilberto Simoni and in the process he took the 15th stage at Tre Seme di Laboreto ahead of his teammate Leonardo Piepoli. He would finish 6th overall, 7 minutes behind eventual winner Danilo Di Luca. In the season finale Giro di Lombardia, he finished 2nd after losing a two-man sprint with Damiano Cunigo. Rico during the 2008 Giro d'Italia, wearing the white jersey as leader of the young rider classification in 2008, Rico rode the Giro d'Italia as team leader, and impressed in the mountains. Taking two stage victories, the young rider's classification, and was second overall in the general classification, 157 behind winner Alberto Contador. It was suspected that Rico's performance was not clean. Doping expert Michelle Audron has stated that Sarah was in use by some riders and the 2008 Giro Sarah is the supposedly untraceable third-generation EPO used by Rico in the Tour de France weeks later. On July 10, 2008, Rico won Stage 6 of the Tour de France with a hilltop finish at Super Bessie giving him his first Tour de France stage win. There were, however, some rumors saying that test results revealed abnormalities in his blood level. The team and the athlete claimed there were no doping issues, however, since Rico claims to have a naturally high hematocrit level. He reportedly has a UCI certificate attesting to an hematocrit of 51%, 50% being considered the accepted upper limit since 1997. Three days later he achieved his second win at Stage 9 of the Tour de France with a breakaway climb of the Col d'Aspen. On July 17, 2008, Rico tested positive for the banned blood booster continuous erythropoiesis receptor activator, from a sample taken following the fourth stage. Making him the third rider to test positive for this substance in the 2008 Tour de France after Moises Duenas of Barla World and Manuel Beltran of Le Quigas. He was immediately ejected from the tour and his team Sonnier Duval withdrew of their own volition. Sonnier Duval announced the next day that team manager Moro Gennetti had lost faith in Rico and that he had been fired from the team. Rico spent the night at the police station and was indicted on charges of use of poisonous substances. He denied the charges and told Rai Television, I'm very bitter. I spent a night in the police station and it was like being in prison. The magistrate listened to what I had to say. They searched my bags but only found some vitamins that we all use and so they decided to let me go home. The prosecutor, Antoine Leroy, testified that medical supplies including syringes and equipment for intravenous drips were found in his hotel room, but were unused. According to AFP, the prosecutor said in the first searches, there were no doping substances as such found. It was later revealed that Rico had attempted to escape doping control officials after stage 4 of the tour, but had been caught in traffic. As a result of this, officials decided that he was to be tested after every stage. It was also revealed that Sarah's manufacturer Roche Pharmaceuticals had secretly worked closely with the World Anti-Doping Agency to develop a test for the drug, and this was how Rico had been caught. 
In the week following the race, Rico admitted to the Italian National Olympic Committee that, independent of the team, he had been taking EPO in preparation for the 2008 Tour de France. And he accepted responsibility for his actions and apologized to his teammates and fans. Rico told the Italian newspaper La Repubblica that it was the banned doping Dr. Carlo Santacchione who supplied the new form of EPO. Following Rico's admission of guilt in the affair, his advisors had hoped for a 20-month ban to be handed to the rider, but on October 2, 2008, he was handed a two-year ban by the Italian National Olympic Committee. Which Rico found disappointing. I'm very disappointed and bitter. I expected better understanding. But I made a mistake and it's fair that I pay. However, on 17th of March 2009, the Court of Arbitration for Sport reduced the ban to 20 months because of his cooperation. He resumed racing in March 2010 on the Ceramica Flaminia team. Rico also faced criminal prosecution in both Italy and France for the doping affair. He was convicted by a criminal court in Padua and given a fine of 3,040 euros. In June 2010, Rico was handed a two year suspended sentence by a Toulouse court, which was upheld on appeal in November 2011. In August 2010, Rico terminated his contract for Ceramica Flaminia, and signed a two-year contract with Dutch Vacancelil Pro Cycling Team. On February 6, 2011 Rico was admitted to a hospital in critical condition, with sepsis and kidney failure, allegedly due to a blood transfusion he performed on himself with 25-day-old blood. Rico admitted to the doctor treating him that he had performed the transfusion in the presence of his girlfriend Vania Rossi. The doctor reported this information to authorities leading to an investigation being opened against the professional cyclist by police and the Italian Olympic Committee. Rico was released from the hospital within two weeks, and was subsequently sacked by his team Vacancelil DCM. Rico later denied blood doping, but also stated that he was finished with the sport and that he wanted to train to become a barista. He later changed his mind and said he would indeed like to race again. In October 2011, it was reported that Rico confessed to the blood transfusion to Connie although his lawyer later denied these reports. On April 19, 2012, Italy's National Anti-Doping Court banned Rico from any professional cycling activity for 12 years, effectively ending his career. Rico appealed to the Court of Arbitration for Sport. The CAS upheld the ban. On May 1, 2014 Rico was accused of purchasing EPO and testosterone, after being caught by Italian police in the car park of a McDonald's restaurant in Livorno. Rico later claimed to be in the wrong place at the wrong time and his lawyer stated that he was not in the car park to purchase EPO. Thanks for watching.